you know, take a deep breath. And breathe out. Take a deep breath again. Breathe out. Yeah, so that is what we were in a couple of times, especially during the night time. So definitely something was really wrong with me. So now today, I'm going to share with you all a little of my experience when I had the lung infection. Now, it's my first time having a real long infection like let's say a couple times last month I started feeling somehow odd because normally I would run up I would get off the bus by the road in Goodwill and I would walk through the hospital gate walk into the hospital but then like certain days I would be walking and I would like actually feel breathless and I was like, that's not how I normally felt, is that? So I started to look into that closely. And then it went on to, even when I got off my bed, I would like walk inside of the house a few steps and I would feel like a breathless. So I started informing my nurses of how I was feeling and all that. And then they set up a doctor's appointment from the city doctor at dialysis and she had me did um she had me do an x ray and um a couple of blood tests. And my blood test was okay. My calcium level was high, so it was not my calcium causing that. But the x ray had a little default in it. So the doctor saw me again and she explained to me that it was a lung infection from the results that she obtained from the x-ray. It was a chest x-ray. So, sorry I wasn't watching the camera so let me get more focused. Anyways, so she placed me on two antibiotics. I am not going to try to say the names of them because they are like tongue twisters, okay? She placed me on two antibiotics for a week, like seven days. And as soon as I, okay, before she placed me on the antibiotics, one other problem I had was also my sleeping problem. Like when I lie down in the night to sleep, I would actually feel so breathless that I would have to sit up to sleep. It's like when I lie down, I would feel breathless to the extent that I would feel like my breath, like it go into court, like I just cannot breathe. And then I like, when I sit up, I'll be like gasping for breath, like <sighs> for a couple of seconds until I catch back myself. You know, take a deep breath. And breathe out. Take a deep breath again. Breathe out. Yeah, so that is what we were in a couple of times, especially during the night time. So definitely something was really wrong with me. So I explained all that to her during the visit and then she placed many antibiotics for one week. As soon as I started taking the antibiotics, I felt a relief. I could sleep properly. I was still getting a little breathless when I walk, but not as much as before I started taking the antibiotics. Now I took the antibiotics for one week and I had to see the doctor again. Now due to appointments and scheduling and all that, I, I took like three days after my last dose of antibiotics before I saw the doctor. And there everything started all over. I couldn't sleep again. I was extra breathless when I was walking. So everything just started all over. So when I saw the doctor, I explained to her that the two days I did not take the antibiotics, everything had just started over and I was feeling like the same way again. So, she explained to me now that 
it was a long infection caused by the flu. Now I had the flu, plus I had a little too much fluid in my body because with dialysis, one of the main things dialysis does is remove fluid from your body. Now, I guess I had lost weight. So in losing weight, I was still dialyzing down to my normal weight, video. so I wasn't removing enough fluid. So the extra fluid that stayed in my body was like, let's say, 5 kilos. So that extra fluid, slowly, some of it went into my lungs. So now with the flu, plus the extra fluid in my body, it affected my lungs and my whole breathing cycle so that is how i got the fluid in my lungs and any fluid with the flu cause a lung infection so yeah i try to explain it as simple as i can because if i explain it like exactly what the doctor explained to me some of you might not understand yeah so i found out i had a lung infection now I've had fluid in my lungs in the past, but it has never turned into a lung infection, okay? The doctor explained that the best treatment for a lung infection was IV antibiotics. Now, because it's IV antibiotics, it has to be administered on the medical ward at the hospital. So the doctor was actually asking me or informing me that I had to be sent to the ward. I had to stay at the hospital a couple of days. It had to be a seven days treatment of IV antibiotics. So, all in all, I am always interested in what is best for my health. And the best thing at the moment for my health was for me to be sent on the ward. Honestly, I don't like being on the ward. I don't know nobody that loves being on the ward. So, I have no choice. Best for me, I had to go along with it and I tell her okay, she could send me on the ward. You know, on the ward, you cannot record because of patient privacy, patient and nurses' privacy. So, recording is a no no on the ward. So, I could not record anything. I didn't want to record any, like, of the treatment or anything when they were administering the antibi antibiotics. So, I did not do one. All over my mind was just to get medicated, feel better, and go home to come out on the ward. Because honestly, when you're on the ward, my immune system is sort of weak, because I am already on dialysis and all that. So I am exposed to every other condition that everybody has on the ward. I used to try to keep my mask on as often as I can. I'm not going to lie, sometimes I really couldn't stand having it on because of my breathing problem and all that. But I just want to say thank you God that I am much better now. My lungs are all cleared up from the infection and from the extra fluid. So I am a lot better. Now, the antibiotics was a seven days treatment. I had to get a dose of it through a hair block that was placed on my hand for seven days. So I would get an amount in the morning, one syringe in the morning, one syringe in the evening like 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. So it went very well. The doctors and the nurses on the ward, they were very caring. They did their work professionally. Even the ward is big up to them as well because they are always there assisting and helping out and everything and they do their work very, very good. I must commend them for that. and. Big up to all the nurses, the doctors, the wardens for doing what they do to their best, okay? And I went on the ward on the Tuesday after dialysis. The next week, Wednesday, I was discharged from the hospital. And up till today, I am doing okay. I have dropped down on my dry weight. So let, let me just say my dry weight used to be 68 kilos 
at the moment right now it is 63 kilos so i had a whole five kilos extra in my body now multiply that by two that is like 10 pounds of extra fluid floating around in my body so that was definitely not good for me as a dialytic patient okay so i'm actually doing much better now i am i used to let the boss drop me inside of the hospital so i'd have to walk less and right now i am not interested in bosses dropping me inside the hospital i rather let them drop me outside of the gate and i use the walk as exercise it is very good for me and i am not feeling breathless not one bit so i use the walk as exercise sometimes instead of taking the elevator to the third floor i even prefer to walk up the steps as exercise and it is doing me very well my legs are even becoming stronger they are not fully strong yet so i cannot run as yet but as soon as i'm, as I'm able to run i will show you how i can run the track but i get in there slowly but surely i am getting there okay so yeah i think that's it for today's video just letting you all know my experience on what i went through the lung infection um it was my first time actually feel i have felt breathless in the past but it's mainly when my blood level drop so i was concerned about my blood level dropping that's why I, as a nurse and a doctor if they could also do blood tests for me when i was explaining to them what was wrong with me but my blood level is okay it's like nine point something at the moment so it can go higher it can be better but because I'm always dialyzing, when every time you dialyze, you lose a little blood. Because some blood stay back in the tubes. So, my blood level will never be perfect, perfect. But it is going up slowly. So, I have felt breathless before because of a drop in my blood level. But, that's the first time I have felt that way. Or like that extra breathless. Like, we've taken three steps. I would have to sit down because I feel like I cannot breathe and all that. And other than like the night times, the sleeping, man, that was a real, 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 real headache. Because I would sit up and even sometimes when I sit up, I still used to feel like I couldn't breathe. I checked, so that was a serious problem. But thank God I had it checked out. And that is one mountain that I stepped over again so I am feeling way 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 better now and thank to God let me once again say big up to all the nurses, the doctors, my dialysis doctor, the warders for handling it properly and taking good care of me while I was on the ward. Also big up to the dialysis nurses for always being there for me as a motivator, as my nurses as caretaker, my dialysis nurses are everything to me, Jack. And my dialysis doctor, they are always there for me. Yeah. If I have any little problem, there are nurses that I could just call and say, nurse, that and that and that and that, and they would be like, I think you should go to, go to casualty, or I think you should do this, because that is what they do, and they just bad at it, Jack. They just, when I say bad, I mean good, eh? So did they just boss in it to uh, big up to them always for being there for me because if it wasn't for them I don't know where I'd be now, you check. Thanks to God also, thanks to my family. I think my mother and them they always say in terms of a problem you need to get it checked out because sometimes I just be real hard and when it comes to checking myself. It's like I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't feel pain like normal people. Let's say your toe would be hurting you. And before I give you one prick, you would say, yes, my toe is in me. But my toe would be coming out before I actually feel it hurting me. I don't know why my body like that. I, I guess it's an extra strength given to me from God to go through that whole thing. So 
I'm thankful for God for giving me so much strength. But at the same time, I think it's not really a good thing. Okay, I'm not saying that God giving me so much strength is not a good thing. But being so strong is at a, at a disadvantage to me because I would be on the last stage of an illness before I feel I am ill. So that is like really not good because if you treat an illness on the first stage, it will be easier for you. Now when you treat it on the last stage, the treating process will be longer. So I would always have to go through the long process of treating my problem because I only feel them when I'm, when I'm on the last stage with them. It's like, well, no, comment down below and tell me what you think about that. If being too strong is a good thing or a bad thing, you check? So yeah, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Anyways, you don't know. I think I'm talking up for it. I'm talking plenty now. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I just take my medication. I think that is why you get. Anyways, you don't know everybody. Bless Sunday to everybody again. I hope everybody has had a good day today. I say hard because by the time I post that video, it might be night time. So I hope everybody has had a good day. I hope everybody is feeling blessed. I hope your families as well are doing okay. Anybody who has dialysis patients in their family, just give them a big up for me. Tell them we can do this. They are not alone, there are other people doing the same struggle just like them, so just stay strong, stay positive, and stay giving God thanks and looking up to God for everything, and He will take care of you always, okay? You as well who are not on dialysis, thank you for all the love and support, thank you for all my subscribers. You don't know the drill, my people. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, click that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video if it has been informative or helpful if you have learned something from it. Give this video a thumbs up. You don't know when you also subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. You don't know. Hey, and everybody, look at my, look at my voice getting better. Eh? And... As always say, bless up yourself one time, my people, you don't know. Stay true and stay blessed. I'm not ready.